welcome back everyone so today i will be explaining that how to fix no wi-fi network found on windows 11 pc and laptop so it's a very common problem and what exactly happened when you click on the network icon at the right hand corner and you click on the wi-fi icon here so you can see i am getting the entire list of wi-fi network that i can connect to but probably you will not find any of the wi-fi network here or you only find few of them but not all the available wi-fi network okay so this is a very common problem and i will be sharing the entire solution in this video it's starting from the basic solution so make sure that you watch the video till the end and let me know in the comment section that which method exactly work for you so the very first thing that you have to do click on this network icon again and here you will find the airplane mode option so click on it and once it's been turned on you have to wait for like four to five seconds and then you can disable it back now once it's disabled again click on the wi-fi icon and now check back if it's showing you all the available network or not in case if this doesn't work the next what you have to do click on the file explorer option open it now you can minimize it then right click on the windows icon and click on task manager now here in the task manager you have to look for windows explorer and once you get it right click on it and choose restart so it will be restarting the entire explorer and once it's been done again you can click on the network icon and click on the wi-fi icon and check back if the problem has been fixed and if not the next what you have to do click on your windows search type ncpa.cpl hit the enter key now here you will find all kind of your available network adapter so you have to look for the wi-fi right click on it and choose disable and once it get disabled you have to wait again for three to four seconds then right click on it again and choose enable and once it get enabled you can close it and again check back if the problem has been fixed now in case if all these basic solution doesn't work for you then next you also need to make sure that your drivers and windows are up to date okay so you have to click on your windows search type update click on check for updates and here again you can click on check for update and if there is any kind of update available kindly go ahead and download and install them additionally what else i would recommend you that once you are done with the update click on advanced option then here in the additional option you will be getting optional update click on it and here you will find all kind of driver updates so click on it and it will list you that what kind of driver update is available probably your network adapter are not up to date and that is the reason you are getting this kind of problem okay so select that driver go ahead download and install them and once you have downloaded all the update again restart the computer and check back if the problem has been fixed now in case if this doesn't work the next what you have to do click on your windows search type cmd right click on the command prompt and click run as admin click on yes now here you will have to run few command and all these command you will be getting in the description so you can simply copy and paste the first command will be netsh space winsock space reset hit the enter key and it will ask you to restart the computer but we will complete all the command and then finally we have to restart now the next one will be netsh space int space ip space reset again hit the enter key and the next you have to type netsh space int space ip space reset space reset tcp ip dot txt again hit the enter key now the next one will be ip config space forward slash release hit the enter key again and then type ip config space forward slash renew and now this will be running a new IP address to you. So this can take some time. So you will have to wait here. And then finally you have to type IP config space forward slash flush DNS. Now additionally one more command I would recommend you that is SFC space forward slash scan now. Again hit the enter key and now this will be looking for any kind of integrity violation on your computer. So this problem can also be because of that. So it's recommended that you should also run this command. 
now this will take some time so you will have to wait it will take about a minute or maybe less than that sometime more than that so just wait until it's all 100 percent completed once it will be 100 percent completed you have to close it and then you will have to restart your computer and then again check back if the problem has been fixed or not but in case if all the solution doesn't work for you the next what you have to do right click on the windows icon then from the suggestion you have to click on device manager the device manager will be up now here you have to look for the network adapter double click on it and this will list you all kind of network adapters so you have to look for the wi-fi one it can be by the intel it can be by the name realtek or tp-link so whichever it is right click on it then you have to click on uninstall device click on uninstall again and now you have to go ahead and restart the computer and this network adapter the wi-fi adapter will be automatically reinstalled so once it gets restarted again you can check back i'm very sure that your problem will be fixed but in case if all this method is still is not working for you then the final solution is that you can go ahead and reset your network so click on your windows search again type reset and click on network reset that you will be getting in the suggestion and then again you have to click on reset now click on yes now before clicking on yes just make sure that you remember the wi-fi security password because the next time when you will try to connect to your wi-fi it will be asking you for the password okay so if you remember it then click on yes and follow the instructions and check back by the end of this video i'm very sure that your problem has been fixed so guys let me know in the comment section that which method exactly worked for you and in case still if you have the issues then please brief me in the comment section i will surely reply you back and also make sure that you hit the like and subscribe to the channel and i see you in the next video bye bye